Hey you guys, we're back with another Backyard Weeds and we're actually in my front yard. You can see my pond behind me. We've got the water, we've got a little tadpoles in there, but we're actually going to talk about a weed that grows wild. Uh, it's kind of considered a nuisance here in Florida, but it's actually a really great medicinal and it's called chamber bitters. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. This is our plant stonebreaker that I wanted to introduce y'all to. It's also called Gale of the Wind or Seed Under Leaf. And its Latin name is Philanthus Neruri. And why they call it stonebreaker is because it's actually known for breaking up kidney stones. It's very alkaline. It has kind of a sweet, bitter and cooling action. And I'm gonna try a little bit here and let you know how it tastes. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not offensive at all. It's it's a little bit sweet. You can identify it because it has alternating leaves, and it has this interesting little flower fruit seed pod that's kind of um, on top of the leaf. I would say, yeah, and and this is similar to like mimosa in that it um, closes its leaves at night and it opens them back up. So you can see this one is just in a pot and that's, they like to just kind of pop up all over the place. They'll pop up in pots or in sidewalks or uh, disturbed areas. So there, this is a considered a tropical plant and it grows in coastal regions. And this particular variety is, uh, comes from Asia and Africa. And it's used in Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine a lot. Um, and there's also a species called Chanka Piedra that actually means crushing stone. And that, that variety is from Peru. But yeah, this grows all over Florida. You can find it all over the place. This one's getting a little bit crispy from the sun, but this is a plant that you would want to use fresh. And I would say this definitely has an affinity for the kidneys. So this would be something you would use if you did have, uh, if you wanted some kidney support. So in, in Chinese medicine, this is called Zen Zhu Zhao, Sao, and I apologize if I'm butchering my opinion there. It's actually in the category of herbs that clear heat and resolve toxicity and it does promote urination. So I would say that it also has a downward action. But yeah, this is uh, something I would reach for to make a fresh, fresh tea out of. And again, if you're looking for something that clear heats so or thinking about toxicity, definitely infections, uh, UTIs, hepatitis, dysentery, enteritis, the Latin name for this plant is actually Philanthus urinaria. Uh, the one that I referenced before, Philanthus neruri, is the one that's from Peru, the Chanca piedra. They both have very similar actions. Hey guys, I hope that you really enjoyed that. Um, I love bringing this kind of content to y'all and I have a lot more weeds and plants I wanna share with you in my own yard that are considered edible or medicinal. So if you like this kind of content, just hit the subscribe button down below or hit the like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.